دین اصطفا ما بعد فاعوذ بالله من الشیطان الرجیم ان عدة الشهور عند الله 12 شهرا في كتاب الله يوم خلق السماوات والارض منها اربعة حرم ذلك الدين القيم فلا تظلموا فيهن انفسكم وقاتلوا المشركين كافة كما يقاتلونكم كافة واعلموا ان الله مع المتقين انما النسيء زيادة في الكفر يضل به الذين كفروا يحلونه عاما ويحرمونه عاما ليواطئوا عدة ما حرم الله فيحلوا ما حرم الله زين لهم سوء أعمالهم والله لا يهدي القوم الكافرين صدق الله العظيم وبلغنا رسوله النبي الكريم ونحن على ذلك من الشاهدين والشاكرين والحمد لله رب العالمين إن عدة الشهور عند الله 12 شهرا surely the number of months according to Allah is 12 fi kitab Allah as written in the book of Allah so before the earth before the skies before the universe was created Allah in his sacred secret tablet Allah al mahfuz Allah had written that the count of months is 12 yawma khalaqa samawati wal ard then the, from since the day he created the heavens and the earth when the heavens and the earth were created then this was implemented that the count of months will be 12 منها أربعة حرم four among them are حرم sacred what are those four sacred ones the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم has told us and this was established from the شرعي of the previous أنبياء as well all of them that three consecutive months the last two months of the year ذو القعدة and ذو الحجة then this month that we are sitting in the first month of the year محرم and then the one another one which is called رجب which is not consecutive with these three but comes later in the year the second month before Ramadan so Rajab then Shaban then Ramadan so Rajab is that Rajab these four are sacred in all the Sharia of Anbiya all the codes that the, the Anbiya brought the way of life the teachings these were sacred months and there was no bloodshed allowed so no fighting no killing no hunting and All deeds that were done, they carried more reward, and all sins that were committed or disobedience, they were more severe in punishment. So the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam Sharia also upheld these, except that fighting and defense was allowed in these four months as well. But this ayah refers to this thing that the kuffar, the pagans of Arab, they used to do, which was. that they in their own claim they were the followers of Sayyidina Ibrahim ala Nabi alayhi salatu was salam saying that we follow Sayyidina Ibrahim and in that Sharia these four months were still sacred and no fighting was allowed but these people their living was fighting they would live by fighting they had long wars that, that would go on and they were there was a lot of bloodshed and this is how they used to live so to na'uzu billah accommodate their deen which they self self claimed that we are the followers of ibrahim and nabi alayhi salatu wasalam although they were not in reality they would alter the count of months so the fighting is going on in the month of zulqada is entering they will sit together and decide that zulqada this year is going to come after zulhajj and would keep on fighting or sometimes they would say that this month that we are in before the sacred months start this month is longer this year or this month Zulqada and Zulhajj are not sacred but some other months are sacred or they would the only thing that they would stick to is that they would complete the count of four sacred months in a year and they would keep on changing everything else so if the whole year is complete 12 years are 12 months are gone they would say this year the months are 16 so we'll add four months and stop fighting and then do 16 months Sometimes they will even change the names of the months. That this is not Rajab, this is not Shaban, this is this month, this is that month. Only to serve their, uh, self, this was their self-serving attitude that they would never change the word of Allah, the command of Allah and 
the Sharia of the Nabi Ibrahim ala Nabi that they claim to follow to serve their own interests. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying that this has been the way since the earth and the universe was created that these are 12 months, not 16, not 13, not less, not more and four of them, these four are hurum and sacred. This is the straight, this is the established uh, month. This is the right faith. So do not be cruel. Do not transgress against yourself. Do not do injustice or wrong yourself in these months. What is the meaning of this? That the sacred months start when, this, when they're supposed to start at the right time. If you keep on fighting, you will make yourself sinners and grave sinners in the eyes of Allah, which is you'll transgress and you'll do wrong to your own self. You'll hurt yourself, nobody else. Similarly, this is the command for Muslims as well that when these months are sacred, fighting is allowed, but still deeds, do good deeds and reap more rewards rather than Na'uzubillah doing like the mushrikeen and trying to alter the months. When these months enter, increase in your good deeds so that you get more reward and be very even more particular about staying away from sins so that you do not get a severe punishment. Fight the mushrikeen, these people, these polytheists, fight them all together as they fight you all together. When they don't spare you, when they, whenever they get a chance, then you also fight them and do not hesitate. And be sure that Allah is with the muttaqeen. If you have taqwa at your heart and you are fighting for the sake of Allah, Allah is with you. Innaman nasi'u. Nasi, this culture, this, this way of the mushrikeen that we just talked about it's called nasi changing the months inna man nasi'u ziyadatun fil kufr nasi is nothing but a further excess in their kufr because they this is a religious thing that nabi ibrahim والسلام, he had told him told these people or his people that these are four sacred months so you are doing it as a religious thing but you are making your own things in it so follow the command of Allah. If you do this nasi, increasing, decreasing, changing of months, then this is actually increasing in kufr because you are uh, claiming to follow religion, but you are doing some. You are actually going in the very opposite direction against religion and ridiculing and playing na'uzubillah and taking lightly the command of Allah. You zallu bihiladina kafaru. It is. This is something that the disbelievers are whereby misguided they allow it one year and make it haram another year so some months they will make them permissible and some months they will make sacred so that they may conform only to the number of what Allah has sanctified so they will just complete the count of four even if they have to increase the number of months to 16 these people they do it thinking that they are following deen they are doing something good Allah has made it their evil deeds beautiful for them and this is because the people who do kufr Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not guide them to the right path those people who choose kufr upon kufr upon kufr consciously do kufr and don't want to come to the right path Allah does not show them the right path either some rulings here is that the 12 months which we call the lunar months Muslims are supposed to keep account and keep track of them it is something which is a collective responsibility of all Muslims so if nobody does it everyone is sinful and if at least some people do it then the farz the responsibility is lifted what is the reason the reason is that Allah has given all the source of calendars be it lunar be it solar they have been given by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala but the one that Allah has preferred is the lunar one because Allah has set the ibadat, all of them, according to lunar months. For example, a person become, becomes baligh, not through a solar calendar, all the responsibilities of ibadat, they, are, they do not become, you know, they do not start applying to a person when they become baligh, not dependent on the solar calendar, but dependent on the lunar calendar or their bodily capacities. Similarly, Hajj, Ramadan, Zakah, sacrifice, both the Eids, you name it, all the ibadat are dependent on this lunar calendar. So therefore, the lunar calendar is the one that is preferred by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It is permissible 
that whenever there is a need because the system of the world is going on uh, d based on the solar calendar therefore it is permissible for Muslims to use it and keep track of the solar calendar as much as necessary that is fine but they also have to keep track of this uh, lunar calendar may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us an understanding uh, and the other thing is that um, yeah that's inshallah وآخر دعوة الحمد لله رب العالمين ربنا تقبل منا أنك أنت السميع العليم وتب علينا أنك أنت التواب الرحيم وصلى الله تعالى على خير خلقه سيدنا ومولانا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين آمين برحمتك يا أرحم الراحمين